Hi, I'm Oyenda. I'm a poet and today I'm going to do some makeup for you while I take you through my creative process, how I wrote one of my poems and just my journey with writing in general. Okay. Um, the inspiration for um, this, the look that I'm planning on doing is Honey to You Helen on Instagram. Um, so I'm just going for like a heavy blush look. I love a bit of blush. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna do uh, my concealer. And first, I'm just gonna powder underneath my eyes using this um, Maybelline Matte Fit Me Poreless Powder. Then for my concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and the Sleek Makeup one. And I'm just gonna mix them on the back of my, my hand. So my creative journey was born out of necessity. I started writing when I was um, 13, 14, just as a way to put down all of the feelings and the thoughts that I was carrying around. And at first it was a physical journal. And then um, I started doing online diary entries on Tumblr. So I'm going to powder. So as I started sharing my journal entries online, I started exploring um, creative writing. And I read this book of short stories called um, Happiness Like Water by Chinello Okparanta. And I don't know, just reading that book, she's Nigerian. Um, I just suddenly started to envision myself like as an author. I started submitting things to like zines, so Sula Collective, Sweet Thang, um, and it was after you know seeing my work online, seeing my work in print, that I really started to see myself as a as a writer. Like I could see that dream becoming a reality. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel um, in clear, and I'm just going to use it to bring my brows. Okay. So my journey with poetry started last year. Um, I was going through some really heavy things and just my thoughts in general were very fragmented. And poetry was sort of the only, the only medium that allowed me to express how I was feeling. And I could just sort of like, I could let it out and I could voice it. Um, and now that I've um, basically done my base, I'm now gonna do the blush and I'm using this lipstick by Rimmel London in the deep purple and um, the shade is 800 under my spell and I've put some on my middle finger and I'm just gonna um, dot dot dot. I was always scared to write poetry because the structure always felt very um, academic and, and tight but I don't know it was the only suddenly it became the only format that I could use and, and in a way I feel like poetry sort of saved me or, or healed me because it because he, uh, <laughs> it allowed me to express myself you know I'm just also bringing it up to my cheekbones and I'm starting to now see the immense power that language has and you know being a black woman in this world uh, sometimes it can feel like your image has been taken away from you and has been distorted and, and someone else's ideas like that tends to hold more weight whereas with writing poetry it sort of feels like I'm taking that power back my only concern is ever you know speaking my own truth honoring my emotions and and the reality of my experiences like that's the most important thing to me when I write that um, I guess I'm going to share it's called I want and for me it was about you know honoring this deep sadness that I feel about about my body and it was definitely cathartic to write so um, I'm going to do some eyeshadow um, I'm using the Ojai palette and I think I'm going to sweep it lightly across my my eyelids um, the poem itself began as a stream of consciousness which is how I like to write most of my poems 
because then I'm just focusing on getting the words out as opposed to, you know, structure. And once, and you know, when I write, it, sometimes it, it feels like I'm in a daze and it's just because um, I've got to get the words out, you know? And then afterwards, that's when I start focusing on and structure and refining the language and the, and the rhythm. But with this poem, um, it was like I, because I use the metaphor of the phoenix a lot in my poems and I'm always thinking about that scene in Harry Potter where um, the phoenix bursts into flames and then, you know, out of the ashes is, is born this little, this baby bird. Um, like I'm just, I'm very struck by that image of, of the flames and then rebirth. Um, and the first line of the poem, you know, I want to be made anew, it sort of came to me like a chant and I was saying it over and over again, you know, thinking about my body, asking myself, what is it that I'm saying when I want to be, when I'm saying that I want to be made anew? Um, and at the heart of the metaphor, you know, um, it's about wanting to escape. And I reached that conclusion in my last stanza. This looks messy, but it's okay. I'm gonna do a gloss. Um, I'm gonna try and get a red gloss. Okay. As I was writing that poem, I was I was learning about myself. Um, okay. Let's see. Now I know a poem is complete when um, I read it aloud because I find that hearing the words out loud give it it gives the poem flesh, and I always like to voice record so I can you know, hear the flow, hear the rhythm. But I don't really like this lip gloss, to be honest with you. Um, but it's a revolution one. With navigating hindrances, I'm always worried about um, if I'm gonna bring this dream to fruition, it be it financially or just that I'm suddenly gonna run out of words. Um, but those are very big fears and at the moment it's just about, you know, taking every opportunity, filling up word documents with poems and ideas and, and sh sharing things that I write. So I'm just sort of holding on to the hope that, you know, one day um, I will have a book with my name on the front in my hands. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make the blush a bit stronger by using a powder. This is also by Maybelline. Um, and I'm just going to use this. Um, I've used it before. Okay, so with creative block, sometimes you just can't write. And that's okay. You know, feeling will pass. And for me especially, it's, you know, suddenly there'll be a phrase I can't get out of my mind and I'll be rushing to my notes app and and it's like, oh, you've written a poem, Oyenda. If you're struggling for ideas, um, then you've got to look for inspiration, like find a prompt, pick a line from a poem or maybe a, a line that a character says in a movie. You know, I have my favorite poems um, on my walls and images that I find beautiful, just so that there's always some kind of creative energy in the room that I can draw from. I only follow people that, um, people who inspire me, who educate me, who impart like love and wisdom into my life. Also, I know I'm sensitive, so I um, do my best to filter out messages um, on social media that might, you know, subconsciously do me harm, which is why black representation is important because, you know, if you're not careful, if you're only being seen one type of beauty, you know, you start to see yourself as ugly and I'm very, I'm trying very hard to unlearn that. Okay, I'm gonna do this now. Social media, you know, it's a scary place um, and it's ultimately a performance, one that will be online forever. Um, but, you know, keep that in mind, be true to yourself, be authentic, be safe. But I'm very lucky because without, because social media is, um, it's how I share my poems, you know, I put them on Instagram. It's how I've been able to meet, you know, 
other amazing, you know, poets, writers, photographers, um, artists, yeah. And it's become such an amazing tool for social change, so I'm grateful for it in that sense. Okay. There are green accents in the picture that I want to try and um, replicate here. So I'm just using this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in a green that's on my fingers. This is my fingers for everything. And I think I'm just gonna put some green here. I'm really happy with how this look turned out. Done, I'm okay. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna name it... Wait, how do I actually feel? I don't know, I feel very... Spring, I'm feeling very springtime. That's what I'm gonna name it. Okay, I'm gonna stand back. Oh, before I go, I just wanna give a big shout out to Sweet Bang and Lacuna, who have issues coming up very soon and my work will be in both. So look out for that. And thank you for listening. I'm Oyinda and I'm a poet. Thank you. Okay, let me stand back <laughs> and show you everything. Finished the